With that down, let's move on to this, shall we? Jurassic World, we all know, has a, a new movie coming. We know Scarlett Johansson's in it, Mahershala Ali's in it. Uh, a bunch of people are going to be in it. Well, now we have the official title. There was rumors of it before, now it's official. And we've got a release date. <coughs> Jurassic World Rebirth is coming in July. So it's less than a year away mm -hmm. that the thing's coming out in theaters. Now, Variety just did an article on this. And I'm going to read a little bit at length here because they actually give us some pretty good details. Our first, pardon me, details about the movie itself. They wrote the following. According to an official summary, the film will be set five years following the events of Jurassic World Dominion, when the planet's ecology has proven largely inhospitable to dinosaurs. Those remaining uh, exist in isolated equatorial environments with, climate, with climates resembling the one in which they once thrived. The synopsis continues. The three most colossal creatures within that tropical biosphere hold the key to a drug that will bring miraculous life-saving benefits to humankind. Sounds like a plot point we've heard in other things, like sure. even in Avatar 2 where... We catch the giant whales because yeah. of reverse aging, but still interesting nonetheless. Now it goes on more about the cast. The studio also revealed details about many of the characters in the film. Scarlett Johansson's character is a covert ops expert named Zora Bennett, who has been hired to lead the team to extract DNA from the three most gargantuan dinosaur species left alive. Ali plays Zora's partner, Duncan Kincaid. Because, of course, his name's Kincaid. <laughs> Bailey plays a paleontologist named Dr. Henry Loomis. And Rupert Friend from Homeland plays Martin Krebs, the representative from the drug conglomerate funding the expedition. I'm going to go out on a limb and bet that he's evil. Yes. Just wild guess here. Evil. And they talk about a number of others. So we got a whole bunch. By the way, let me bring this up again. Mm -hmm. Also, our first picture. If I can get back to it. There yeah, it is. There you go. Yeah. Our first picture. I got picture. it here, too. There you go. Uh, from the movie. Again, not showing off any dinosaurs yet. The movie is still 11 months away. Just checking out that corn, looks Just, like. Dinosaurs love corn. Yeah. Jonathan, don't don't overlook that. But <clears throat> there's also a bunch of other cast members because, you know, you need dino fodder. Sure. You need, you need bodies there for dinosaurs to grotesquely destroy. <laughs> um, so we got the date. We got the new title. Rebirth is interesting. I wonder if it has any more of a decent uh, meaning. And of course, we've got some character descriptions. Listen, I was just kind of making fun of it a little bit because we've kind of heard that plot before, like in Avatar sure. and other places that, oh, these monsters hold a drug and whatever. Okay. But still, it's it's kind of new for the Jurassic World kind of movies. And it gives us a great point of plot to for why Scarlett Johansson and her characters are there to I mean, do I, that. So I, I like it. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I'm a little bit like, this probably should have been the plot of the last one versus like the more focusing on insects, you know? I mean, maybe this, maybe that kind of research was leading to this anyway, but I, I do feel like, man, they could have just jumped ahead to, to this story. It yeah. is interesting that they're leaving out all the previous cast members. Yeah. And, and you yeah. know what? It's probably the right move at this point. It's time to kind of give it a little bit, even though the story, it's a continuation of the story. It at the same time is a little bit of a fresh start. Yeah. Much I mean, like Jurassic World was from the Jurassic Park movies. Yeah, and I, I kind of feel like we make this argument with Star Wars. Like, th there's a whole world. We don't have to just focus on these core characters. Uh, the entire world is now experiencing, for many, many years now, uh, dinosaurs on the planet. So it's going to touch other lives, you know? Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Game time. My wife Ann and I love going to events, whether they're comedy shows, concerts, an LA Lakers game. I mean, just the other night we went to go see Ronnie Chang and it was awesome. We love having these new experiences and new memories. And our sponsor Game Time makes getting tickets for concerts and events faster and easier, even if you don't buy tickets right away. Because prices on the Game Time app actually go down the closer you get to the show start time. With killer last minute deals, all in prices, views from your seat, and their lowest price guarantee, Game 
same time takes the guesswork out of buying event tickets. I couldn't believe how easy and most importantly, intuitively, the entire app works. Finding the event I was looking for couldn't have been easier. The way it lays out the map of the venue, letting you know exactly where the seats are that you're looking for and how easy the process was to choose and buy those tickets. So don't worry if you think you're too late to get tickets to that big event you and your friend wanna to go to. They have last minute deals. Save up to 60% off buying last minute for sports, concerts, comedy, theater, whatever. So guys, take the guesswork out of buying concert tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use the code CAMPIA for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code CAMPIA, C-A-M-P-E-A, -E for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. All right, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? We've got the official title now for the new Jurassic World movie, Jurassic World Rebirth. We've got a release date. It's less than a year away. It's coming out in July. And we got our first image and description of the movie. How are you feeling about it? Do you like what you're hearing? Could you care less? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.